All right, welcome back to another video. This is Panthers Divine, and today we're gonna to be reacting to a song called "Gates of Hell" by Mises. Apparently, from the cover, it looks like Bill Gates. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from it. So he's at a table, like with Bill Gates at the end, I guess. But all right, let's get to this. Let's have some fun. Let's record. Let's talk about this. Gates of Hell. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, it is supposed to be Gip Bill Gates. Read between the lines. Billy Gate don't have to say 12, 8, 80. Listen, I wasn't born yesterday. That's the day my mama birthed me. Thank God that ain't masturbate. Gather around, pull up a chair. We gon' have a chat today. I'm cooking up. Did he just make a. Did he just make that. Did he just seriously make that joke? <laughs> wait, wait. 12, 8, 80. Listen, I wasn't born yesterday. That's the day my mama birthed me. Thank God that ain't masturbate. Gather around, pull up a chair. We gon' have a chat today. I'm cooking up some food with thought. Grab a plate, get your napkin straight. Cause it's about to get messy. That's why I ain't dressed. Dressy, I'm about to spill the beans long as the internet. Let's be getting on some thin ice. You could call the kid Gretzky. I believe in Jay Grace. I ain't scared of death. Bet me every dollar in your bank account. Billy, you had to kill me. Oh, I willingly let you chip me. I really hope you feel me. Cause I'm really being serious. I'm all or not. Millie and the safety off of my safety. Please don't try, Billy. Bitch, you know you. But I found my own safety. Please don't try it, Billy. Okay, so this is this is like basically a warning, you could say. I, I want to say this is more like a warning. He's basically saying that I'm gonna raise my child as as I want to. I'm gonna live my life the way I want to. You can go ahead and live your fame. Um, Bill Gates. I like how he says I believe in Jesus Christ, and he shows like Bill Gates laughing at the gospel. Um, I actually wonder: Is there any video of Bill Gates talking about Jesus Christ? Is there? I'm gonna have to look that up. I wanna actually see if there is. But it's it's funny because on one side he has pizza and he has a notebook, and the other side he has Bill Gates with money and uh, he has like a fishing rod trying to get people to follow the nation. <laughs> but that'll block that out now. Cool beans, so I don't get censored. Um, but it's funny. Oh boy, I wanna go back because he says something that was interesting. I wanna bring I wanna bring up. Let you tip me, I really hope to Safety off of my safety, please don't try, Billy. So basically saying that I will protect myself against you. I think everybody has the right to do that. Um, to protect themselves, to know what's going on in their body. Um, I, I would say they made it very hard to get information about like this whole thing. Um, I would go on Google, I would go on Yahoo, I would go on Bing. I can't find a website that literally lays out the chemicals that are in this vaccination and what it does to your body. If, if there's no, you know, um, the chemical, if there's no chemicals in it, then tell me what's in it. You know what I mean? There's no actual website that actually tells you the scientific evidence behind any of this. You know, it's just, it's just get it, get more, get more, and you're all good. And when you're all good, get more. You know, there's no like anything. It's just blah, blah, money, money, pharmaceutical, you get rich, we get injected, they get rich and they want to force it onto you. Can we just all admit that? That's what we've been seeing. Okay. That's what we've been seeing with Australia, with Canada, and with many states in America. We've been seeing that where the government comes in or, you know, the city comes in and they try to force you to either get vaccinated or you can't live, basically. You can't leave your house. You get put into a hotel. You know, you can't, you can't go shopping. You can't go eat. You can't go do anything. You can't even get your hair cut because you're not vacate bitch you know you don't care about no dying people only thing you care about is who supply needs rich get rich and poor get sick of crying out to jesus guess the bible right love a dollar signs is in no. i ain't stupid i know what the hell you do hell no i won't do it just because you tell me do it man no. i don't give a damn make it mandatory hell <laughs> wait is he dead <laughs> Wait, is he just like passed out from how many injections he took? And the guy's just shoved money in his collar. <laughs> he must be reading through all those emails. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. None of that stuff came out yet. I don't get it. None of that, no, 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 nothing came out. 
What's the dumb thing? Is these people are just hiding. They hide and hide and hide. And they pay off these doctors just to tell them, tell us what they want to be told. There's no truth of anything. Straight off the beginning of this whole thing, the doctors were trying to come out and talk and it's just like, they were censored. And, uh, and it's just like, oh yeah, it's a danger of uh, information and misinformation and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, I don't, I don't care if it's even misinformation. I still want to hear what they have to say. This is America. You have the right to speak. If he's lying, I still want to hear it. You know? Jeez, it's just common sense. It's, it's freedom. You know, freedom of expression, freedom of belief. If you want to believe that this is a bad idea, go right ahead. Then don't partake in it, you know? But it's even more suspicious when you silence thousands of scientists trying to speak up from the beginning of this whole ridiculous. Lyrically gifted, you think that he must be reading through all of Hillary's emails. Female does all I see and none of them know how to speak. You are the company you keep, so I don't hang with any sheep. But I don't hang with wolves either. I see you in sheep's clothing, standing at your pulpit, preaching. That's why churches keep closing. That's why people in the pews don't you that that's actually very important i think that's a very important part right there this picture is is really I, I will say this picture right here this video this scene right here in the video is probably one of the most important scenes that you will ever see be told okay you have the yeah the pastor and you have let's say a government official coming in okay and this government official comes in and he gives the pastor money to preach a certain thing. Um, I think this is a powerful scene because that's what's happening is that we've become the state church, the state religion. You know what I mean? We've become a, a, we've become a problem more than a solution. You know, we get told what to say and what we cannot say. And if we preach this, then, you know, yay, you know, we get money. Um, but this is a, this is a, this is a clever scene. Um, I would say this also, again, I'm gonna constantly bring this up. I'm gonna constantly bring this up. This is right now a great example of the 501c3. This, this is really the 501c3, okay? The government swoops in and says, you can't talk about this, this or that. You can't endorse, you can't speak about uh, leaders. You can't do this, you can't do that. And your, your, your city, you can't, uh, you can't help political movements. You can't do this and you can't speak about that. This is a great example. Or you can get your exempt taken away. You know, it's, I, I love this. I love this already. Wow. I like it's a Nike. Why is that a Nike bag? Like he knows what he's doing, Nike. I see you in sheep's clothing, standing at your pulpit preaching. That's why churches keep closing. That's why people in the pews don't unite with equal views. I don't want to teach the truth, rather keep us all confused. Bitch, you know you don't care about no dying people. Only thing you care about is who supply needles. Rich get rich and poor get sick of crying out to Jesus. Didn't the Biden administration just push out this thing where they to to help? I, I might get I might be getting this confused, but they made it where they were giving out free needles. Right now, okay, back then they did the needles. They were giving out free needles to the the drug addicts, so they didn't pass around disease. Now they're passing around um pipes, like. We're just, we're feeding, <sighs> dude. Guess the Bible right. Love a dollar signs of Z. I ain't stupid. I know what the hell you do. I won't do it just because you tell me to. I don't give a damn. Make it mandatory. Hell no. I ain't fucking with your plan in the store. Okay, let me calm down. Fuck that. I'm a wild. I can stop and calm ever since I done killed that club from wild enough. Me, just where you been, bro? I've been with my pen, yo. Jotting shit to change the world. Too bad. You know what's the funny thing is that the exact same people that are in power and trying to take away our, our our freedom they're benefiting off the freedom that they want to take away from us that's the funny thing is you know even putin is benefiting from capitalism okay it, it, it's it, you may have a society that's run like socialist or communism but the rulers in power are running off capitalism i was listening to a podcast and i was looking up and like studying on a little bit of things but everything comes down to capitalism and it does work it does put money and power back to the people but it, it depends on how you do it you look at it you know obviously it's it's a weird it's a weird study but just do your own little study on it but yeah like putin is running off of capitalism even though his people are under socialism and communism so the people suffer as he gets richer and he gets it's it's a weird study it's weird
but I was listening to that and it all made sense. The way they were saying it made sense. Don't know about politics, but I know this ain't right. Bill, speak the politics, could have swore that we had some rights. Bill, call the Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights. Ain't that right, Bill? How they will scare him with Corona, then we'll have a shot to trick him into getting shots. Bitch, I think not. Kick rocks, bitch, I'm hip hop. Grew up on Big and Park, which means I'd rather get shot before you giving me a shot. Fucker, bitch, you know. I'd rather get shot before you give me a shot. Can't do that because my ear hurt. Uh, yeah. You don't care about no dying people. Only thing you care about is who's supplying needles. Rich can rich support the train. sick of crying out to Jesus. Guess the Bible right. Love a dollar signs is evil. No. I ain't stupid, I know what the hell you do. Hell no. I won't do it just because you tell me to. Man, no. I don't give a damn. Make it mandatory. Hell no. I ain't fucking with your plan and the story. That was interesting. It's kind of like showing the light, you know, shining the lights and see if he's on track still. I kind of like that. I was in. <laughs> what do I think of that? I thought that was very creative. Uh, minus the swearing. I don't like the swearing, but I'm not offended by it. Um, but no, I, I think there was a lot of truth in this i think there was i think there was i'm gonna be honest with that um one one the power the most powerful photo you'll see is that that one where the the pastor sitting there and the government comes in you know with money or you know vax and it's sad to say that but that's true that photo is probably one of the most true photos that could apply to the church now um we've become the government's pet yeah and I think that's what we're going to see very soon is that the government is going to swoop in a lot harder very soon. And churches are still going to fall for it because they care more about this than actually saving souls. Um, I was doing this uh, study, um, going to this like Bible study with a, a group of people. And we're learning about Luke. And we're, we're talking about how, you know, God cares more about the physical than not cares. God cares more about the, the the spiritual than the physical, you know, needs of people. So even though you might be doing this or might be doing that, that's materialistic, and we need to worry more about this. And man, I I was that's that's where my head's right now. It's like talking about that. It's like we're trying to fill the needs of people materialistically, but not spiritually. And when we want to talk about spiritual things, the church kind of like shuts you down. And I actually experienced this with the people that, some of the people that I was actually talking to in this group, is that when you would, we would talk about the Holy Spirit and talking about the spiritual good things, then they would accept it. But when we would talk about the evil or the bad spiritual things, they would deny it as if they wanted life to be some perfect thing. But you find it that the Bible speaks about, you know, heaven as a real place as much as he speaks about hell being a real place. And he, he talks about the blessings being real as much as he does curses being real he talks about the holy spirit entering you being real as much as he does demons attacking you and tormenting you and actually you know trying to get you to do things and being like a lion okay so i don't understand and i want you guys to explain to me and i want to hear some comments down below is is why why is it that you know, and I think a lot of Christians fall into this whole perspective again as they as they preach, you know, life isn't going to be easy, but at the same time, they act like it. Like I gave my little bit of a testimony to these people to explain to them my, my experience and my spiritual warfare that I was dealing with, but then they said that you're just sleep deprived. But they'll go on talking about all oh, like the, the spiritual amazingness and the holiness of God spiritually, but they'll deny anything of the devil. And I think it becomes a point where it's like, you know, they don't want to fall into the thing of going like, we, we don't want to give uh, the devil glory. I think there's a big, huge difference between that. I think there's a difference between, you know, actually glorifying the devil and then actually telling them, uh, people what the devil did to you, you know. So I, I think there's, there's a little bit of confusion there, but I found that to be interesting. But it all comes down to like what pleases you, I guess. What you actually want to have. So, I mean, I don't even just go to this Bible study. I go to, an, I, I mean, I don't I don't know if I want to continue going to this Bible study. I go on Sundays. Um, but it's slow. They they just talk about physical things. And it, it just, for me, it gets me nowhere. You know, it's just, it gets me nowhere. So, yeah, whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what you thought about this music video. 
Um, I'd like to hear your thoughts. 